Good evening, and welcome to today's edition of The Historical Show. Now, let's learn about Charles Darwin! Mr. Dombey, nature intended me as an Arcadian. I am thrown away in society. Cows are my passion. What I have ever sighed for is to retreat to a Swiss farm and be surrounded entirely by cows and China. That was an extract from the book Dombey and Son by Charles Dickens. The book's actually about railways, but it can't all be good, can it? Uh, odious refers to the quote, extremely unpleasant, oh no, I thought this up. Extremely unpleasant and repulsive. Whereas nowadays, it refers to poor personal hygiene. Oh, oh yeah. No, Raddy, that's odorous. Well, anyway, on the third line, you'll notice the use of four. In, intended for an Arcadian. In modern speech, it's where we replace with to be, to be an Arcadian. Dickens promoted the wider use of many fantastic words in today's society. He polarized Dustbin to the masses for the first time in Dombey and Son, while boredom became popular through its usage in the house. Although he didn't establish the West Side or the BX Massive, he flummoxed the nation with his butterfingered slang words and confused us all with his neologisms. Today, his novels continue to inspire an age. It is indeed rare to find an individual who hasn't heard of Scrooge, Twist, Fagin, or Heathcliff. What a guy. Well, you probably have heard all about the dick Meister. Charles Dickens, oh. I mean. Meanwhile, I've been looking into kids. Now, kids, come on. See, what I'm talking about is education for the masses. Before Dickens' time, you didn't even have to go to school. In 1751, the British population was 7 million, and in 70 years, it doubled. But by 1871, it was up 26 million. The majority of these were children, children with no or little education. This was the peak of the Industrial Revolution. A lot of parents weren't happy about the kids working in factories. In these is where some of the kids would work. This is one of the places that thousands of children work for pennies a day. Many of them also died. The first indication of education, uh, that makes sense to them. The first signs of education were when the mills had to teach kids literary skills. So was that the mills? The mills? The government found that thousands of districts didn't even have schools. So what did they do, Paddy? I don't know, Ben, what did they do? They built them. Hey. Now I've bombarded you with facts for long enough, so I'm gonna give you some peaceful time to write everything down. Dickens wrote of the hardships of his time and created 265 new words to do so, as well as twisting the meanings of other words in ingenious new ways. Devil May Care and Kibosh are just a couple of his colloquialisms, and his carefully constructed compound adjectives included angry-eyed, hunger-worn, 
Carl Stumpf. That, my friend, is the impact of Charles Dickens. Now all that's over and done with, I'm gonna have a brew. You, fuck off. Any questions? Alright, maybe there's another section. That's the same one as we thought. No, no you, you mistake, buddy, you mistake. Okay. Thing. Uh, oh, not bad. It's all gone wrong. It's falling apart again. Don't be silly, man. Oh, shit. Alright. What do you win when a fuck? What do you win when a fuck? What do you win when a fuck? Boys, rip it. 